Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinobi Ranger here, and welcome back to another episode of our Age of Empires 4 campaign playthrough, playing the third campaign, the Mongol Empire. And we shall be proceeding to the seventh scenario of this campaign playthrough. But before we proceed ahead, in case you missed the previous campaign mission playthroughs of this campaign, you will be finding the playlist notification popping up in the right top corner of the screen. So do feel free to check it out in case you missed the previous episodes. Okay, entering the third chapter and leaping forward 26 years ahead. 1267, the Song Fortress under the Domination Chapter. The first scenario of the domination chapter, Kublai Khan set his sights on the throne of China, but in his way stood an impregnable fortress and its unyielding garrison. Okay, let's go. So this is the part of the campaign against the Southern Song and the complete unification of China under Kublai Khan and the start of the Mongol Yuan dynasty. Okay, let's start. After a stunning victory over the Hungarian king at the Battle of Mohi, the Mongols seemed unstoppable. But a year later, the great Khan Ogaday died. The Mongols pulled out of Europe and returned home. Over the next 20 years, two more great Khans ascended to the throne. Their conquests continued to expand the empire in the east. Then in 1260, the grandson of Genghis became the next great Khan. His name was Kublai Khan. He would rock the foundations of one of the medieval world's most advanced civilizations, China. <clears throat> Not exactly China because remember the northern part, the Jin dynasty has already been occupied. Now they are facing the southern Song dynasty now. This is Shangdu. Remember today is Xanadu. It was once Kublai Khan's great northern capital. From here, he jealously eyed the wealth of southern China's Song dynasty. He wanted right. to take it and become emperor of all China. The Song dynasty had ruled over southern China for more than 300 years. And the country was prosperous and well governed. Kublai ah. Khan knew that the key to victory was capturing a strategic city lying far to the south of Shangdu. Isn't it the river the Yangtze? It's called Changyang. Oh, oh, Yang Yang, the capital of the Jing province. Shang Yang was the gateway to the south and the heart of the Song dynasty's power. Controlling the Han River, a critical access route to cities further along the Yangtze. Capturing Shang Yang was Kublai Khan's only hope of becoming emperor of all China. The Mongol horde had to take the city at all costs. Okay, little bit of backstory on this. So, Xiangyang is the capital or was the capital of the Jing province of China. So if you look at the old um, uh, Han dynasty, Han Empire map of China, the Jing province is situated smack dab right in the middle of the country. Okay. So through Jing province, you can access the central plains of China. And Xiangyang sits on the southern bend of the Han River. The northern part of the Han River is occupied by Fancheng that is Fan City and this is this is a very important thing okay uh, you know because uh, let's go back to the time of the three kingdoms when you know, when Liu Bei is in the Yi province uh, securing Hanzhong and then uh, there is war between Wei and Shu Han okay not yet Wei the dukedom of Wei because Cao Cao is still the duke of Wei later on he'll be the prince of Wei okay now 
Xiangyang sits on the southern part, southern bank of the Yang, on not the Yang, I'm so sorry, the Han River. Just across the river on the northern bank is Fan Cheng, Fan City. This was where Guan Yu met Cao Ren in battle and laid siege to Fan Cheng. But also, what happened was Sun Quan's forces, led by Liu Mang, attacked him from behind, and therefore they were able to seize Xiangyang. Xiangyang is a port city which controls the Han River fleet. Marching down south, when you come to the Yangtze, you come to the Nan Commandery, the port of Jiangling, Nanjun. So Jiangling controls the northern bank of the Yangtze. That is a major river port on the northern bank of the Yangtze. Now the reason why southern China is so prosperous is because of the great Yangtze River. The Yangtze River starts all the way in the Yi province and flows right across the map, I'm sorry, the country, okay, it splits the Jing province in half. You have the northern command, upper commanderies and the lower commanderies, all right. In the time of the three kingdoms, uh, non, non commandery was the commandery adjoint like on the northern bank of the Yangtze. You say the river flows along and then you enter the southlands, the Jiangdong region or what everybody later knows as the kingdom of Wu, okay. The Han River meets the Yangtze in a confluence near the very famous site of the Battle of the Red Cliffs. It's debatable near the city of Wulin. Uh, the site is not, it, it is not sure, but some some people say it is a bit away from the, uh, let us say, like, toward, a bit to away from the uh, confluence of the Han and the Yangtze rivers, okay. So, this natural barrier, the Yangtze, is a very wide river, which prevents, that, that is why, uh, um, that is why Wu was the last to be subjugated. Among the three kingdoms of Cao Wei, Sun Wu and Shu Han, Cao Wei first subjugated Shu Han and then subjugated Sun Wu. And to capture Wu, the Jin dynasty, had to like the Jin dynasty was the successor dynasty to the Wei the kingdom of Wei. The Jin had to build a fleet in advance, roughly ten years ad in advance, to prepare and train their troops to cross the Yangtze River. Remember, because the kingdom of Wu had the best naval forces, and it is proven several times. The biggest proof for the naval prowess of the kingdom of Wu was the Battle of Red Cliffs. The very famous Battle of Red Cliffs. So, now attacking Xiangyang is not such an easy thing. You have Fan Cheng on the northern uh, bank of the river, whereas Xiangyang is on the southern bank. There is a bend in the river. The river follows, it moves, uh, like, like, for example, it, it moves like this. So, the river flows like this. There is a bend here and it then continues down. So, in this bend, at this bend region here is where Xiangyang is and Fan Cheng is exactly in the north. They are connected by a bridge. Okay. So, this is why uh, it was so difficult to occupy those cities. Okay. Same example can be said of Hefei, where Sun Quan failed several times to occupy, capture and occupy Hefei because Hefei sits just across an, a river. Uh, another example would be the city of Shouchun, which is located on the banks of the Huai River. I think the southern bank of the Huai River, if I'm right. Okay, eager in his quest to become emperor of China. Oh, the Hong, he wants to become Huang Di. Okay. Kublai Khan sent his army to re seize the richest cities of the Song dynasty. Sitting either side of the Han River, the twin, city, the twin fortresses of Xiangyang and Fancheng braced for a direct assault. So, this is... So, Xiangyang is a very important city for almost a thousand years. Remember this this scenario where I'm talking about three kingdoms comes in almost a thousand years before what the, the before the current events. So remember before uh, uh, before the Battle of Red Cliffs, Liu Biao was the governor or the prefect of the province of Jing, and the Jing province was a haven of peace in the turbulent time of war, situated central. If you Check the Han Empire map, it is sitting exactly in the center. 
So to the left of the Jing province is the Yi province, the second largest province of the country. To the right of the Jing province, straddling both the north and south part banks of the Yangtze is the Yang province. Further down south you have the Jiao province and in the north you have the central plains. And the reason Liu Biao stationed Liu Bei at Xinye's city was he wanted to have a buffer in uh, near Nanyang Commandery whenever because whenever if Cao Cao would march down south into the Jing province, his first obstacle is Liu Bei. And Liu Bei forms a buffer between Liu Biao and Cao Cao's forces. Okay. And having said that, I mean this is going to be a really difficult task. Okay. Uh, because you are your uh, the twin I thought twin fortresses of Shangyang and Fancheng. So uh, you can supply Shangyang and Fancheng through the Han River. So you sail alongside the across the you sail along the length of the Yangtze at the confluence point of the Yangtze and the Han, you just take divert north, divert up, follow the river, and that will lead you to Shangyang. You continue following the Yangtze, you will end up at the strategic port of Jiangling. And Jiangling controls the northern bank of the Yangtze. So it's very, very important. That is why Sun Quan was so obsessed with securing Nanjun. Because remember the southern part of the Yangtze, the southern land, the lands beyond the Yangtze, the Jiangnan and the Jiangdong regions, they are completely controlled by Sun Quan. Uh, we have Wu, Danyang, Kuaiji, Yujiang. Then you expand into the Jing province, Changsha, Poyang. Ling Ling, Guyang, the command, the southern commanderies. So that secures the southern bank of the Yangtze for the kingdom of Wu. Securing Jiangling, Hefei, they will help. And also securing Xiangyang and Fancheng, they will secure the entire Jing province. And you will also secure the northern bank of the Yangtze along with the Han River. Okay, let us go. Approaching Shangyang and Panchang. Kublai Khan, not content with rule over his own lands, coveted the riches of the Song dynasty to the south. He ordered his army to the twin cities of Fancheng and Shangyang, confident in his tried and tested tactics. Lady, it is Panchang. Kublai's ultimate target was the fortress of Changyang. The Mongols would first have to control its sister city of Fancheng. It is Fan Chang, my god! Stupid lady, why can't you get the pronunciation right? Can't you do a bit of research? It is Fan Chang, not Fan Chang. Fan Chang, Fan City. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. 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 I see resistance over there. Fall back. Go fall back. Mangudai, advance. No. Let them chase. Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. Heavy glaive infantry. They look like the protectors of heaven from both or three kingdoms. Oi, 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 where are running off to? Come on, stand and fight. Chase! Or get chased. And get killed. Oh! Oh, fall back, fall back, fall back. That's gonna steam. There is a fort. Okay. Yeah, these tactics of the Mongols are not going to work here. Okay, it's going to take them close to six years. Six years to just occupy the two cities. Because first they'll occupy Fancheng and then they struggle to claim control of Shangyang. Taking Fancheng itself is a big problem because the reinforcements come by the Han River, supplies come by the Han River 
and the Somnus is putting everything they have into reinforcing this bastion. It makes sense because the cities are strategically very very important. Number jacks. Okay, I need to explore a bit more. Is there a way to get around the fort? No, I'm afraid not. Okay. They're cutting down the trees there, but it's gonna take a lot of time. Okay. Hmm. I cannot bypass this. There is a way, however, they have to still chop down the, those trees there. Okay. Veteran spearmen, uh, veteran archers, palace guard. Oh, okay. These palace guard are the Chinese version of men at arms. Okay, move faster than men at arms, but reduce. Okay, countered by crossbow. Fine. If light cavalry wish to. Okay, they'll be killed by heavy cavalry and light cavalry. Okay. What? Oh my god, that thing is. Hand cannons? Kill them all! Charge! No! Focus on the towers! Quick! Oh, we're taking cousin. The cleared the bridge of its guards and continued their advance on Fancheng. Oh, look! Settlements! Oh, we're taking casualties! Okay, there's a settlement there. Good! We'll burn it down. Burn this down. Burn it down! Burn it down! Quick! Cavalry won't help here. That is the problem. That is a major problem here. Cavalry will not help. So this is the Han River, I suppose. Okay, you're all dead now. Oh man, you don't stand a chance. Okay, while they're torching and burning the village, gaining resources for us, let me scout about further. Okay, that settlement is done for. How much time do you need to burn down the damn thing? Ah, uh, oh, sweet, sweet resources. Give me that sweet resources. Okay, cross the river. Oh, they have scouts waiting. Okay, okay. Scouts keep exploring. I saw some treasure. Okay. We gain line of sight. Let's get over there. God bless their souls. Oh, there's a barricade. And there is a ford. Yeah, look at that. Okay, you are really screwed. Poor fellows, I feel bad for you. You came around to scout and you're dead. Okay, 
now they are blocking us there i'll just bypass them such fools such poor fools look at that militia men what the hell militia men i feel bad for them okay let's Okay, get over there. Ah ha ha! How nice! Look at this! Look at this! The fools are oblivious to what is going to happen for me. Okay. They won't expect this, however. Poor fellows. I feel bad for them. Watch your box! Oh man, they got wrecked. They're like, huh? What just happened? What is happening? Wait, wait, the spearman, spearman, spearman first. Oh man, they just they blew it, they blew it. Oh man, that was so funny. Mangudai! Kill them all! Charge! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already out, out did them. Come on, we must be. Oh my God, our heavy cavalry are being butchered. Shit. <laughs> ho ho ho. Oh well, what are we waiting for? Poor fools. Continue exploring. I want to explore. Oh, another fork in the road. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Harass them, harass them. That's a traitor, kill him. All right, quickly, you fools. How much time do you take? Come on, what are you doing? They're already. Oh, they ran away. Oh, use this horse archers. No 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 no! Kill those refugees! Kill those refugees! What oh, treasure! Look at that treasure! Give me give me give me give me give me! Another road! Excellent! Okay, torch everything down. Steer. Come on, come on. What? We cannot advance there. Oh man, that's a shame. <clears throat> there should be a way across. There's another path. Uh, It's all forested terrain here. Uh, you just destroy that. Explore a bit more. Okay, hold on. My god, these are all dense forests. Oh, hold on. Spearmen. Okay, I think we found our bypass road. Really, is this gonna. Wow. The Mongols whoa, 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 whoa. fortified Song Camp, blocking the road to the Twin Cities. 
Seeing an opportunity to overwhelm the enemy camp, the Mongols called in their reinforcements. Together, the two detachments would strike the camp from both sides, pincering the Wow, this is a huge army. Hold on. So... Oh my god, look at these heavy cavalry. Uh huh, okay. Hmm. Okay, come back to the fourth in the road. This is gonna take some precision attacking. See, plenty of spearmen, barracks, shit, springald. Archers, spearmen, YouTube scouts. There is treasure over there. Claim the treasure. Thank you for the food. Hmm. Yeah, we'll attack simultaneously, but I want to explore a bit. Yeah, we can. Oh, whoa, whoa. Aha, look at that. Tasty. Attack that one, quick. <laughs> Poor fellows. Cavalry archers, move out. Good, good, good. First time move. Undo all of... Oh, oh, oh. Will you look at this now? Come on, explore. Look, oh, gold. Look at that. No, 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 don't any of that. Oh, they, they have already mined out half the gold. Shit. Cut them down. Cut them all down. All right. Yep, burn everything down. Level everything down to the ground. Okay. Yep, everything is done. Leave it be. I need line of strength. Okay, get over there. I need line of sight. Get to the fork in the road. Aha, okay. Heavy cavalry form up on the right flank. Archers form up on the left flank. Okay, now here. I wish to... What? Hey, wait a minute, what? Come on. Ah, here we go. Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. All dead. All right. Your clearance to advance. Alright, get moving, get moving. Yeah, piddly widdly archers. Oh my god, that is horrible. Whoa, 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 what the freak? Whoa, 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 do not engage. I repeat, do not engage them. Fall back. Let our horse archers do their thing. Come on, chase, 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 chase. Fight them, fight them. Smart. Smart enemies. Confusing roadblocks. Five armor, five ranged, and five pierce armor. Thirty-three attacks. Ooh, that's one of speed. Oh, kill those spearmen quickly. Ah, oh, this outpost is annoying me. Kill it. Sorry, destroy it! Why am I saying kill it? 
Yeah, 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 we are under attack, blah, 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 blah. I need line of sight. Okay. Ah, so you're blocking. Okay, hold on. Closer. Closer. Okay, I can see the camp. Wait, closer. Oh, oh shit! Okay. Now I have eyes on the camp. Get closer. Okay. Alright, let's use our Yeah, we have flanked the camp. They're splitting up forces. Oh shit, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Ooh, fall back. Idiots are chasing us. Excellent. Mango die. Do what you do best. Flee, 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 flee. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Chase those fools. You are facing so many hot archers. I feel sorry for you. Okay. That threw out a few of them. Okay, these Bakuns chase us. Chase! Chase us, chase us, chase us! Okay, they're chasing us. Chase us! No, 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 no. Chase us, chase us! Provoke them to chase you. What else you got? Dead. Alright, oh, we took some heavy casualties, but that's okay. These swine will pay for it now. Charge! Get out of the way, get out of the way. Burn on the walls! Return charge! Come on, burn it down, burn it down! Go, 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 go! Burn down the fortifications first. We kite these swines. Okay, get out of the way now. Okay, here we go. Who's attacking whom? Oh, they are attacking us. Okay, not a problem. Ow, that stings. That stings really badly. Oh shit, chase, chase, chase. Ooh, that hurt. Chase us, chase us, chase us. Keep chasing, keep chasing. Keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. Keep chasing. Chase me. Yeah, it's attack move. Just keep don't need to even do attack move. Just keep moving forward. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. A few arrows. We are taking casualties. Whoa, 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 whoa. These obstructions in the way are annoying. Oh, they're shooting us. Damn it. Oh, damn, there goes a horse archer. It's taking so long.
Jeez! Jeez! Oh! Oh, that stings. You know what? I'm sick of using horse archer. Let's get them forward. Oh my god, I lost so many good horse archers. Sheet! You're not gonna get screwed now. Die! Okay, this band of scouts, you just come here, come over. Go! There we go. Run down the zone camp. Burn it down. Every building falls. Okay. But the road to Panchang is open. Destroyed. The Mongols set in motion their plan to seize the Twin Cities. First, they would meet with an allied force at the gates of Fancheng. This assault force would attack the gates of Fancheng, while the Mongol vanguard would defend the siege weapons firing upon the cities. Okay, you have been fine. You have been too, unfortunately. Before we <coughs> make our way to Fancheng, I would like to explore a bit more. Oh, okay. We have only troops. Please heal us. Oh, great monks. Okay, this is open country. Okay. So this is the river. I am this is the northern bank of the Han. Am I right? Or am I just guessing stuff? Well, let our troops recover from the fighting. They are close, so don't want to decide. Let's continue exploring. Okay, forest over here. Come on, let's move forward. Help those. Kindly priests, heal us. They are very less range, unfortunately. All done. If all is done. Look, two groups of scouts get forward. The Mongols met with the Allied assault force at the gates of Fancheng. Fancheng! The Allied force charged the gates. The Mongol vanguard moved to defend the siege weapons from Song attacks. Yeah, we'll do that. Where are the scouts? I need the scouts forward. Oh, they are attacking from this side, huh? Okay, there's a sortie coming in. You are not gonna do it! Charge! You will not, you will not destroy those catapults, no matter what. These buggers are coming from this direction, huh? Okay, 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 you pay for it, wait a minute. Where are, where are my light cavalry? Okay, light cavalry, come here. Get over here. Oh my god, these idiots are going on a massacre. As the Mongols approached, the song burned the bridge to Shangyang, preventing a direct assault on the fortress. 
Oh my good lord, there's nothing short of a massacre. Met with a barrage of gunfire, forcing the Allied army to retreat. Oh my god, Fang Chang is difficult to attack. With the gates still unbroken and under guard, the Mongols switched strategies and called on a large group of reinforcements to bring in their mobile camp. Yeah, the Mongols would besiege the mighty twin cities. Besiege Xiangyang and Fang Chang. Uh, why is there a division? Hey, 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 where are you going? Oh, an open route. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god, they're just crossing the river. The Mongols rallied a force on the bridgehead. The Mongol strategy was to hold the city's bridges so that no Song forces could escape and no reinforcements could enter. Okay. Ah, uh, where are these things going around? What is this? Stable. Okay. This is a market. I spotted a market there. Okay. Uh, let's have the market here. This, this, this is a barracks. So barracks goes next to the stable. What is this? Archery range. Okay. Archery range goes here. Oh, this mobile camp is... What, what the hell is happening? Okay. We want archers to be in range first. Can we destroy this? I wonder. Okay, hold on a minute. This is a southern bridgehead. How did wait wait a minute wait 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 I, I need to see this again now. How did our camp Hey 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 hold on hold on a moment Wait what do we have here? What is this is a blacksmith Archery range stable barracks so no villagers apparently. Okay. Yeah, moving of her its own free will. How did the scouts make it through? Is the question. Another bridgehead. Hmm. Oh, thank God. Upgrades available finally. Thank you. I need these upgrades. Ah, uh, yeah. Kill them all, what are you doing? <clears throat> I'll not do that first. I need to explore a bit. Okay. These units are just running around. Okay. Yeah, that is the fortress done. 
What's this? Ah, oh, yeah, upgrade this is it. No Ovu, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, there's a fork in the road. Oh, and this fork. Okay. Connects the two. There is treasure here. I am a bit surprised to find no settlements here. I have to explore. I want to explore. Okay. Hey, look at that. Okay, these men are this patrol. Oh, treasure. A village. Okay. Fair pickings for me. Where are my troops? Uh, where, where heavy cavalry? Sorry, the light cavalry. Yeah, send them down here quick. Okay, your fair game, unfortunately, already. Yep, you are fair game. And you have an arsenal there. Oh, then you have to go. You got to go. Okay. More troops here. Okay, hold on then. We have another archery range. The white stupa. What does this do? It acts as an ovu and provides 30 stone per minute without a stone outcropping. Oh! Uh oh, I saw it on my way. Charge! Cut them down! Oh, they're all dead. So, wait a minute. If this acts as an O, oh, ah oh, man, you gotta be joking. Where's Blacksmith? All done, right? Pack up. You go and you unpack next to this white stupa here. Bloody well torch it! What are you waiting for? Alright, this force You will stay here yep, yep, Burn it down, burn it down While we explore Oh, hold on, hold on. Villagers are here. Kill them. Okay. Explore then. Burn everything down. Look at this. Okay, looks like we are we cannot go across. Okay. Wait a minute. If this okay, if this is Fan Chung. This is the Han River. Ah right, right, yes, the bend. Okay, so here we go. So look, 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 look. So this is the Han River. Okay. Goes like this, comes around. Okay, there is. Okay, so this is how it goes. Okay, goes around, and you see there is this curve around the city. Okay, where they burnt it down. So this is how it goes. Uh, as for this split, I mean this bend of the river here, I don't suppose it worked out like this. That is one weird thing about this. Um, come on, burn it down. What are you doing? Okay. To reinforce a southern bridgehead. What many traders is the question? 
which let me do one thing so this is okay that is appropriate i need to pack up yeah yeah they can't do shit right now let's pack this up one no pack up you to pack up you as well pack up You will come here, take a position here while. Yep, they are all patrolling about. Did that thing come? Yes, thank you. Prove all of that. Only cavalry is going to be a problem. I don't have siege engines, however. Okay, the stables will be built here, archery range adjacent to that, market sits here, barracks is here, okay, so I want Five, six, seven, eight, ten. This group of light cavalry will suffice. Okay. Now, we need fifty five troops on either side. It's hundred and ten. Hmm. Okay. So make it 18 horsemen, 20 horsemen, 5, 9, 10, 15 crossbowmen, 6, eight, that is 8, 10, 12, mini jet, mini jet. Okay. Where is that bridgehead? Ah, here. Okay. There were some guards who came along with us. Okay, I'll just send you back there. Okay. Cavalry by is wait a minute. Yeah, that doesn't work out here. Even as they come forward, they're slaughtered. Okay, here we go. Upgrade. This gives how much? 30 stone per minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's complete the research quickly. <laughs> okay, here small troop is advancing. We have two Mangodai, two heavy cavalry. But I'm an archer. Okay. Thirty-eight, forty-five. It's a lot of mango, right? Mini chat, bejak. Karo hoy bejing. Bit wal chirik urgil chibejing. Okay, let's not do that. So these heavy cavalry are the real killers. Hold on. Okay. You are completely group two now. Okay. 
You lot will write down here. Yeah, here. Oh God! Uh, how much gold am I making? 162. That is good. That is a goodly amount of resources coming in. Okay. So they blew up that bridge. So why only the main bridge is my question. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Look at that stone out cropping. <gasps> And gold or cropping. Look at that. Oh my god. That's. Is that what? That's a 3 or 6,000 stone and it's 8,000 gold there. Another huge gold or cropping. My god. Yang Yang is really well defended. How many more? All done, right? Okay. Scouts are group 1. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 you're attacked. Keep trying your business, that's it. Okay, now this is appropriate, this is help big form. Okay, 51 rate. Make it six fifty six. Dead. Okay, here we are. This is four thirty eight. Plenty of mango die. Hmm. Plenty of mango die. However, uh, we are lacking in. Spear, we need spearmen here. 38, right? Uh, 4, 9, 10. 10 spearmen, 12 spearmen. Let's have 8 crosses. <clears throat> okay. How much time is it taking? 14 seconds. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, our men at arms are really well armed. Okay. So you are all two, three, 56 men. You will take a portion at the southern end of Yang Yang. Yep, Shang Yang. Here is where you need to do stuff. Securing the second bridgehead, the Mongols were one step closer to blocking off all the escape routes. Okay, this is appropriate. Question is, how the hell are we going to batter down the walls of Panchang? This is a major concern right now. Okay, it's 183, 183, 186, that's appropriate, that's enough. I mean, what fools! That huge army! Of heavy cavalry and uh, uh what is the name? Marco died. Oh shit, we lost the unit. Shit, we lost the units. Damn! And they just charged headlong and they got massacred by these gun towers. My god. Where are we? Where are we? What is our progress? Okay, now all done, right? Right, all done. Now you are group 4 for me. Take up positions here. It's already burnt. The Mongols took up position on the last bridgehead. Seeing that the Mongols were attempting to block the city's escape routes, 
The Song began planning a counterattack. Uh huh. Where the hell are you going to be attacking from? Is the question. Let's reform. Okay, here we go. You also get ready. Traction trebuchet. Hmm. Okay, song counter attack coming in. Now. The song launched their counter attack on the Mongols holding the bridgeheads. The Mongols had to hold the three bridgeheads against the song attacks. Really? If this is your attack wave, I am not impressed. Oh, they're repairing. Okay. 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 Now that makes a lot of sense. I feel bad for them. <laughs> Yeah, please do come charging out, please. Grenadiers, oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. These buffoons are coming in. Wait, wait. Let's prepare for these fools. Charge! No more such thing as grenadier here. More attack waves coming in. All right, fall back, fall back. Ooh, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Ooh, fall back, fall back. Fall and forward. There we go. These are the strongest positions here. Again, grenadiers are coming in. Oh, it's gonna sting to fall back. Oh. Here, tactics enabled right now. Yeah. Eleven damage. Is that it? Uh oh, they're getting stronger. Help me. I think I overestimated or underestimated my enemies. She Oh, they just butchered all our cavalrymen. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, chase, chase, chase them, chase them, let them, let them chase all the way. Oh no. No. Oh my god. Okay, you both quickly. I need clips. Not good, not good, not good. No, all of you get going there.
Yeah, I'm doing it. Give me a damn second. Damn you. Oh, they're running. Oh, okay. They're advancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a damn second. You know, my troops aren't uh, rocket men here. Aha, as expected. Charge! Put them down! I got this one. Oh my god, they're being cut down where they stand. Done? Is that it? Desperate to stop an all out Mongol assault on their walls, the Song destroyed the remaining bridges to the Twin Cities. Unable to advance, the fortress of Zhangyang remained locked to the Mongols. But with a siege established, the Khan's cause was not yet lost. This is going to be a six year long siege. It ain't going to be pretty, friends, that is for sure. I assure you that it's not going to be a pretty sight. Okay. The Song army successfully defended their fortress against the Mongol attack, but Kublai Khan would not relent in his ambition to become Emperor of China. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lot of, ooh, a lot of things, okay. Domination, let's see this. Oh, I already seen this. Okay, Queens of the Empire, page from history, let's see. Queens of the Empire. The pre-empire life of Mongol women was one of constant peril where prominent wives were prizes to be won or stolen. But when Genghis Khan united the Mongol nation, he transformed the position of women from positions to equals, a reflection of his belief in the spiritual balance between male and female. His wives and daughters would rule the conquered territories as queens, while their husbands and sons went away on campaign. Soon, almost the entire empire was ruled by Mongol queens. However, after Genghis Khan's death, it would be his own sons that would cause this delicate balance to topple. The position of women once again became uncertain as they were forced from power, violated, murdered and chased into hiding. And so the Khanids descended into rivalry. Oh, depredation begins. Close. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. Yes. Yeah, there we go. So it's, uh, next time, it's going to be one year into siege and then Xiangyang. It is going to be a long fight. Imagine six years. This is like a uh, little more than half of the duration of Siege of Troy. The Siege of Troy lasted for 10 years. But the thing is, what many people don't know, according to the Iliad, the fighting you see, uh, the battles between the Trojan army and the Greek uh, army, it only happens in the 10th year. For nine years, the Greeks establish a blockade around Troy and they go around in the countryside looting and savaging their enemy supply lines and the villages around also simultaneously uh, to help uh, them to, to, to sustain and feed their armies they uh, engage in agriculture while at the same time they attempt to cut off food supplies and but, uh, manpower reinforcements coming in from all sides but till the very end, the Trojans continued receiving a stream of reinforcements. Okay. All right. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, then leave a like. If you did not like the video, then leave a dislike. Share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that excuse me, you won't miss out on any new videos when they are released. Until the next video, this is Shubhi Ranger signing out. Bye.